Today, we're going to walk through the charity bib registration path for Semper Fi Fund's Marine Corps Marathon. Semper Fi Fund uses Run Sign Up for all their charity bib events throughout the year. For each of the events, they get a free website that is mobile optimized. You'll see here that they have scrolling images from their Marine Corps Marathon event. And as you scroll down the page, you'll see a sticky register and donate button at the top of the screen, making it easy to have those calls to action feature as you go through the page. All of Run Sign Up's websites are free, pre-mobile optimized, and make it easy for participants to sign up, donate, and learn more about the charity bib event right from their phones. So I'm going to go ahead and click register to get signed up. Because I'm logged into Run Sign Up, my information is easy to pre-populate the registration form. And I've already filled in my personal information, so now I'm going to choose my event. Semper Fly Fund offers different fundraising options with different fundraising minimums attached. For example, the marathon has a $600 fundraising minimum and the new 50K event at the Marine Corps Marathon has a fundraising minimum of $1,000. I'm going to go ahead and do the regular marathon event. At the bottom of the page, I'm asked if I would like to join or create a team. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because fundraising teams are more fun. The next step is a waiver. Semper Fi Fund isn't actually putting on the Marine Corps Marathon, but they use this as a way to get photo release waivers collected so that they're able to use all of their event day photos for their charity bid participants in their promotional materials. So I am required to enter my name to sign the waiver. This is the team step, so I'm going to go ahead and create a team. I'm going to call it Allison's team and click continue. This is where Semper Fi Fund collects additional information about their charity bib runners. These questions are asked once per registration and these questions are asked once per charity bib runner. So I can scroll through and enter in my information. Run Sign Up makes it simple to have different types of questions, including yes, no, select from a drop down menu, and they also include a question to agree to the fundraising minimum. Semper Fi Fund also allows me to enter my cell phone number for day of notifications. That way, Semper Fi Fund can easily communicate event updates and necessary information to their participants on the day of the Marine Corps Marathon. Now this is the step where I am asked to set up my fundraising page. As a registrant for the charity bib fundraising, I am required to have a fundraising page so that I can meet my minimum of $600. Here, the first thing I'm asked is if I want to receive a refund for my event if I raise at least $1,000. This is Run Sign Up's automated fundraiser refunds, where you can incentivize your charity bib runners to raise more than their required amount by offering them a refund of their registration fee. So here I'm going to remain opted in to receive my refund if I raise more than $1,000. Here I'm able to enter my fundraising page name. It defaults to my name. I'm gonna keep it that way. I can enter a tagline such as fundraising for Semper Fi. I can enter my fundraising goal. I'm going to raise $800 for Semper Fi Fund. I am required to raise more than $600, but I can increase that amount if I want to. Here I'm able to customize my own fundraising page URL. I can upload an image for my fundraising page, and I can also customize the personal message that shows on my page. You'll see here that Semper Fi Fund has some default text that will automatically appear on my page. This makes it really simple because I'm not forced to spend time customizing the language and the content, and I can just keep their default text. Because I created a team, it automatically is creating a fundraiser team here and lets me customize this page. I can enter a team fundraiser goal. So let's say I want my team to raise $2,500. And I can also have a special message that shows on my team fundraising page. Again, this is defaulted to the message that Semper Fi Fund has, but I can come in here and edit this text and add my own content. 
This is where I'm able to make a self donation to get my fundraising page started. I can choose from any of these amounts from 26.2 up to $1,000 and it will pre-populate that amount. I can also enter a custom amount that is not one of the levels. Because this is a demo, I am not going to be making a donation. This is the last page of the registration where I can review my information and check out. This shows me all the data that I've entered for my registration and my fundraising page. And this is my checkout cart. It shows me what I'm paying for. And because I've used Run Sign Up to register in the past, it has my credit card information securely saved and I can just enter my CVV code to complete the purchase. Because this is a demo, I'm actually going to enter a coupon so that I'm not going to be paying. You'll see here, because I didn't make a donation, it's asking me to add a small $5 donation to my cart. So this is a nice way to collect additional donations from people who do not donate when they sign up for the Charity Bib event. When I click Complete Registration, I get a pop-up on my confirmation page prompting me to create a synced connected fundraiser on Facebook. When I click the button, it will automatically sync my Run Sign Up fundraising page to my new Facebook fundraising page. The amounts and the donations will be kept in sync, allowing me to reach new donors and raise more. This is my confirmation page, and that is how registration works for charity bib fundraising on Run Sign Up. It's simple to sign up from your phone to become a fundraiser to create a connected Facebook fundraiser and to share my fundraising page with my friends.